A very common rust area for the Mercedes 107 SL is the inner wheel arch. And this is the right hand inner wheel arch section from a 107 SL. What you'll find when you take the front wing off invariably is that there's a big rust hole just here. And once you get the rust hole here, you'll find that the bottom of the panel round here starts to rust out. And that's exactly the situation we've got on the car that we're working on. And this video is going to be all about what tools you're going to need to get this panel off without damaging the panel behind it. And we're going to start off with a spot weld drill bit. So this panel is held on with a series of spot welds every inch or so all the way along here, which is basically just a round circular weld. And to get that out, one way of getting that out is using a spot weld drill bit. And this is just a spring loaded spike with sharp cutting teeth here. And the idea is you locate that on the existing spot weld and just drill a circular hole around it. And when you've done that to all the spot welds, this panel will just lift out. And it's not quite as simple as that. And that's why we have got here a set of seam separating chisels. These are all slightly different shapes. And what these will allow you to do once you've got in drilled the spot welds out is to get underneath there and leave the panel up in awkward positions without hopefully damaging the panel behind it. Now, a good thing about these spot weld drill bits is they're not only good for getting the old spot welds out, but they're also pretty good for drilling the holes that you're going to need for the new spot welds. So, for example, this is a new panel here, which came from the SL shop. And remarkably, this panel is only £52, which is exceptionally cheap for a panel with all of those contours. You can imagine what how difficult it'd be trying to make that up but for 52 pounds it's just simply not worth the time better off going to buy a replacement panel and when you buy the replacement panel what you're going to have to do is drill a series of holes in exactly the same place as the old panel and then using a mig welder basically do some plug welding into those holes to weld this panel Back on. Now we're not going to actually weld this panel on in this video. In this video we're going to show you exactly the process of getting it off. We've used a series of tools including our new best friend the Dremel cutout tool because our particular panel had already been patched at some stage but not very well because it's still rusting through. We're going to have a go at drilling out some of these spot welds on this inner wheel arch here. Now, to find these spot wells, you're going to have to grind back or sand back the protective coating that's on the um, panel. And then you'll see these round indentations here. And these are the spot wells. There's a series of spot wells that goes all the way around. And we're going to use our special um, spot weld drill bit to try and drill those spot wells out, which hopefully will allow us to remove that panel. Um, and what I found is that the spot well drill tends to wander quite a bit, so we're just going to use a spring-loaded hole punch like this. You could also use a very sharp drill bit, or you could use a hand punch and just punch a hole. But these tend to work quite well. And what I found is that the way to do this is to start off very slowly, otherwise the drill bit will just wander around all over the place. I just hear it biting. What you find is once you've cut around all of those spot wells that this panel will just be held on by seam sealer here should just pry back. So let's try drilling out a few others. We've done that. We've used a spot weld drill just to drill those out. Now, behind this piece here, which we're also going to be replacing, is very rusty, which is why in some cases that spot weld drill has just gone straight through. Now, luckily we're replacing this panel, but if we weren't, you'd have to be very, very careful when you're using a spot weld drill not to drill straight through, otherwise you're going to have to weld up that hole. So we're going to use a special set of um, chisels that we got from eBay. These are about £15. And we're just going to see if we can hammer that panel apart. I don't know if there's still a weld. This is all welded along here, actually, where this has been previously repaired. So it's going to be quite tricky to 
get that out. We might have to just cut that bit out. Okay, we're getting there slowly but surely. You can see we've drilled out all the spot welds along the bottom here. But up at the top here, this panel has actually been repaired in the past. And what they've done is they've um, just welded all of this here. So there were no spot welds to drill out. And I think what we're going to have to do is just maybe get an angle grinder in here with a cut-off disc and just cut this last section out and then grind it back because I don't think we're going to be able to drill any more spot welds out. We're going to cut this last bit out with the Dremel cut-off wheel because it's a much smaller tool and it's going to allow me to get in there without actually cutting into any of these other panels, hopefully. say that Dremel tool works really well for getting in those really awkward positions. This should be just about ready to come off now. Wow, well, let's go and have a look at that piece outside. Well, having cut off this inner wheel arch repair section, you can see that it's quite rusty here and also at the bottom here where it's been repaired. But Previously, this has obviously had a patch welded in at the top here. But once again, I doubt they used any kind of um, primer on the inside of the panel. And that's probably why that's all rusted away like that. So let's just see if we can get the remainder of the metal off and then test fit on a new panel. Now that we've got that panel off, you can also see up here where this panel is starting to rust. And obviously down here, and once we take all of this off here, just revealing all the rust. And once again, this is what I'm trying to do with that etch weld stuff, is get some primer between the spot welds, because you can see where that's been spot welded, it's actually started to rust, and that's the beginning of what causes these holes. But we have this whole new panel here, which hopefully will allow us to replace this rusty panel and also replace some of this here, save us having to refabricate here. We got the double-sided spot weld drill bit from these guys up here, cost £13.99 delivered, and there's actually 13 bits in there. The chisels, panel seam splitters, we got um, from these guys here, Zoro Tools, £15, 4 pence delivered. The inner wheel arch repair section came from the SL shop, absolute bargain, £52.98.